Imagine being lost in a maze, except this maze is made of money. Sounds terrifying, right? But don't fret. Personal finance doesn't have to be a scary maze. Picture it as an adventure, a journey through the twists and turns of savings, budgeting, and investing. Yes, the path can seem convoluted, but with the right knowledge and skills, you can navigate it with ease. So, buckle up. The trip through the money maze begins now. No need for a magic money compass, you just need the right tools to navigate the money maze. Personal finance is like a three-legged stool with budgeting, saving, and investing as the legs. Wobbly, isn't it? Now let's dive a little deeper into these concepts. First up, budgeting is like your financial GPS, guiding you to your destination without running out of gas. It's about managing the money you earn and ensuring there's a balance between your income and expenses. Imagine you have $100. Budgeting is essentially figuring out how much of that 100 goes to your groceries, how much to your bills, and how much to your fun fund. It's about ensuring that every dollar has its own job and it's not left wandering aimlessly. Next, we have saving. Now saving might sound sound like a hoarding squirrel preparing for winter, but it's more than just stashing away money. It's about being prepared for uncertainties and future needs. It's like your safety net when the trapeze of life throws you into the air. It could be saving up for a rainy day, a new car, or even a dream vacation. Remember, a penny saved is a penny earned. Last but not least, investing. If saving is your safety net, investing is like your trampoline. It's about making your money work for you. It's putting your money into stocks, bonds, real estate, or even a startup. With the expectation that you'll make more money in return. It's the golden goose that keeps laying eggs, provided you take good care of it. So there you have it. The three-legged stool of personal finance. Budgeting, saving, investing. Each one is crucial and serves its own purpose. Budgeting helps you manage your money effectively. Saving ensures you're prepared for the unexpected. And investing helps your money grow. It might seem like a lot to take in. But remember, every financial guru started from the same place. And like any skill, it takes practice and patience. So, don't be discouraged if you stumble and fall. Just pick yourself up, dust off the confusion, and keep learning. Once you master these three, you are well on your way to financial stability. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom. Now where do we find these tools? Welcome to the treasure trove of knowledge. When it comes to personal finance, there's an ocean of resources waiting to be explored. But where to start? Well, let's dive in. Books. Yes, those ancient artifacts, they are still one of the best ways to get a solid foundation in personal finance. From classics like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, to modern masterpieces like Your Money or Your Life, books offer a depth of knowledge that's hard to match. Now if you're more of a digital native, online courses are your gold mines. Websites like Coursera, Udemy, and Khan Academy offer comprehensive courses on personal finance. You can learn at your own pace, from the comfort of your home, and hey you might even get a certificate to show off. But wait, there's more! Blogs and reputable finance websites are the bustling marketplaces of the financial world. They're regularly updated, often offer free resources, and provide a platform to interact with others on the same journey. Websites like Investopedia, NerdWallet, and The Balance are great places to start. Now let's not forget about our wise sages, the financial experts. From the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, to the Queen of Frugality, Suze Orman, these gurus offer invaluable insights into the world of personal finance. Follow them on social media, read their books, watch their interviews. They've been there, done that, and are now sharing their wisdom with us. Embrace this journey of continuous learning. Personal finance isn't a one-time course that you can ace and forget. It's an ongoing process, evolving with your life stages and circumstances. So keep that curiosity alive, keep learning, and keep adapting. Remember, every finance guru was once a beginner, so don't be intimidated by the complexity of it all. Embrace it, learn from it, and soon you'll be navigating the financial seas like a pro. After all, even the longest journey begins with a single step. So, are you ready to take that step? Enough theory, let's dive into the real world. It's time for some practical magic. You've read the books, you've taken the courses, you've followed the experts, but now it's time to roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty. Think of it as a real-life board game, where the dice is your decision-making and the game pieces are your financial goals. First up, workshops. Workshops are like the gym for your financial muscles. They offer hands-on experience, allowing you to flex, stretch, and strengthen your understanding of personal finance. You'll learn how to navigate financial markets, 
make informed investment decisions, and even draft a foolproof budget. Now, let's talk about apps. In this digital age, there's an app for everything, including personal finance. These virtual tools can help you track your spending, manage your savings, and even invest in the stock market. It's like having a personal financial advisor right in your pocket, but remember an app is only as smart as the user, so use them wisely. Next, online communities. Imagine a world where everyone is just as interested in personal finance as you are. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, online communities make this dream a reality. They provide a platform for individuals to share experiences, ask questions, and learn from each other. You'll find that people's personal stories often offer the most valuable lessons. Speaking of lessons, let's not forget the value of networking. In the world of finance, it's not just about what you know, it's also about who you know. Networking can open doors to opportunities, provide insights into industry trends, and even help you land your dream job. So get out there, attend a workshop, download an app, join a community, and start networking. Each step you take brings you closer to mastering the art of personal finance. Remember, finance is a journey, not a destination. You'll make mistakes, you'll have victories, but most importantly, you'll learn. Finance is not just about numbers, it's also about people and experiences. Personal finance is not just a science, it's also an art, the art of discipline. Now let's talk about goals. You don't just wake up one day and decide to run a marathon, you set a goal, you train, you prepare, and then, maybe after a lot of sweat and a few blisters, you reach that finish line. Personal finance operates in the same way. It's about setting attainable, realistic goals and then working towards them. Want to buy a house? Start saving. Want to retire early? Invest wisely. And speaking of goals, remember this golden nugget. They need to be smart. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. A goal like, I want to be rich, is too vague. Instead, try something like, I want to save $50,000 for a down payment on a house in the next five years. Now that's a smart goal. Next up, let's talk about a word that sends shivers down most people's spine. Mistakes. Yes, you will make mistakes on your personal finance journey and that's okay. Mistakes are not failures. They're opportunities to learn, to grow, and to become better. So, when you buy that overpriced stock or forget to budget for car repairs, don't beat yourself up. Learn from it and move forward. And finally, we come to the piece de resistance, the cornerstone of personal finance, discipline. It's easy to get excited about a new budget or investment strategy, but the real challenge is sticking with it. Discipline is about making those tough choices, like choosing to save instead of splurge, or investing for the long term instead of chasing quick wins. It's about consistency, persistence, and a dash of stubbornness. So there you have it, the art of discipline in personal finance. It's not about being perfect. It's about setting goals, learning from your mistakes, and practicing discipline day in and day out. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is financial success. Now that you have the map and the tools, are you ready to conquer the money maze? We've journeyed through the basics of budgeting, saving, and investing. We've explored educational resources from books and online courses to reputable websites. We've followed the footsteps of financial experts and we've engaged in practical learning, attending workshops, using apps, and joining online communities. And then we've learned about the importance of setting goals and practicing discipline. But remember, the journey doesn't end here. This is just the beginning. The road to financial freedom is a continuous learning process, and it's up to you to keep that flame of financial literacy burning. It's a step-by-step -step process, a daily commitment to making smart financial decisions, learning from mistakes, and adapting to life's ever-changing financial demands. So, here's the challenge. Start today. Tackle that budget, explore an online course, read that finance book collecting dust on your shelf, follow a financial expert on social media, attend a workshop, set a financial goal, and practice the discipline needed to achieve it. Take control, because the only person who can truly secure your financial future is you. Remember, every financial decision you make shapes your financial future. So, navigate wisely, learn continuously, and take action. Your financial future is in your hands. Navigate wisely, and the money maze will become a walk in the park. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom. Remember, your journey to financial freedom starts here.